live. Just letting you know we're live. As, as of right now, we're live. Yeah, you live even after you're down, though. Do your damn intro. <laughs> you eat a banana, I feel like that, they're like both banana. one in the bro, same. Bro, Nick, like, you should have saw him eat a banana, banana, bro. Too much. Uh, Come on. All right. Y'all niggas ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm cooking chicken. You put, I'm going to say this right now. You put Jameis Winston on Tampa Bay right now, he was exceeding Tampa. I don't think or, so. I don't think no. so. He just stay on the Saints. Nah. Is, I don't think he's on the Saints. That, same, that, that uh, team was kind of the same when he left. Was a, so the yeah, team was already loaded. He just asked. Yo, he, he, really couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't <laughs> see. He couldn't see. <laughs> That's this nigga Michael's favorite excuse. This nigga got laser eye surgery. Now he's gonna be cold. But, but check this out. He didn't leave for like five seasons and was blind the whole time. You had money to get that fixed. What took you so long? I mean, like you hey, bro, check you you... Like five seasons to finally realize, you know what? Let me go get my eyes fixed. Nah, Come you on. can't you can't say that because people got bills and people got other life Bro, he's like, making he he millions of dollars. Don't forget he had allegations too against him. That's what I'm saying. He had a lot of shit to. He had paid for lawyers, like, bro. You feel me? You gotta, you gotta listen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm like, I feel like he, had, he had five million, bro. He had yeah, million. Yeah, but you don't understand. You don't understand. Like our class, our class is just just because they're rich don't mean that they got hella money. Hmm. Hmm. They just in that rich. They just they just in that rich bracket. Yeah, he's a first round pick. He should have been got that fixed. I mean, he made more in his rookie contract. He's still signing one year deals. Oh God, that's that. That recently, the first thing he did was get his eyes fixed. For sure, exactly. exactly. But you gotta understand, most of the time, some players is is more focused on trying to get their family out the mud than all the other well, stuff, right? Guess what? Yeah. That's his fault. Motivation. Nigga said, "I don't know, Sam. I don't know, Sam. Go say that shit. It's his fault. That's his fault. That's his fault. Okay, guys, but listen, listen, listen. On average, LASIK costs two to three thousand dollars. Are you fucking joking? Come on, bro. Come, thank you, Miller with the Damn. LU. Thank you. Oh yeah, he. Got Ooh, like, no, that, oh, no, no, that was that was Joe. That was the Miller. That was Joe. That was Joe with the LU. Oh, okay. <laughs> Correct, Joe with the LU. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, y'all. He got no excuse for that one. All right. Yeah, that, I mean, mind all right. You, he's been like this since he was even in college. Come on now. All right. You know what? Let's, let's go ahead and get this podcast on the roll, people. All right. <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going to tolerate <laughs> this. Uh. <laughs> Hold on, Mike, before you start this intro. Joe, you know you got a camera, right? Bro, I'm cooking. You bet you never record yourself cooking. I don't know. I'm not doing fuck you, fat fuck. Bro, I'm mad, bro. I have to. I got I got connected wire. Bro, no, fuck that. I'm at a whole ass event and I chose to choose this podcast over the event. I don't want to hear that, you fat fuck. Oh, I don't want to hear it. We're not live, so I can talk how I want to. Well, but think about it. I we are live. We talking about we are live, D Nix. What are you talking about? I told you we're live, <laughs> <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> and nigga said, yeah, I'm "Take it back. I take it back. I, I, I take it back." Joe, you're very slim. You're slim, Joe. Nah. Nah. Are right. <laughs> right, y'all? Are right, y'all? Like a hostess. Are right, y'all? A hostess. Are right, y'all? Quite on the set, ugly. I'm about to get this intro oh. off real quick. All right. <clears throat> Hello, welcome to Talking to Lens. I'm your host, that boy Mike U, aka Lens Mikis. All right. <laughs> on here, we're talking with Lens. We talk anything to do with the lens, basically. You know, cameras, videos, football, relationships, whatever, right? Anything to do with the lens. All right. Today, I went with a multitude of guests and returning guests. All right. First, I'm gonna go with my first co-host, my boy D Nix, aka the skater, aka the, <laughs> aka, all right, the person you can't stay at home anytime. All right, next, my other, my other uh, returning guest, my boy Sam. All right, the cowboy stand. The only person that can the make an actual argument boy. against me. The only person on this podcast that can make an actual argument against my statement. It depends on your Ooh. statement. <laughs> what what can I say? Cowboys defense attorney at law. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. All right, we have Joe, the hoe, a.k.a. You were the waste trainer. 
Joseph Harris. There we go. Uh, Joseph is a waist trainer. Next. Bro, I would never play in my life. All right. You got my, we got another another attorney guest. That, that, that boy, that boy, what's his name? What's his name? That boy, Elk. You hear me? That boy, Elk. Elk built like a straw. All right. Elk built like this. All right. Hey, man, you, built built like, you built like this blunt, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can do it, goddamn. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, you know, it's good to be here. You feel me? All right. Last but not least, all right, we have a new guest on the podcast today. All right. My boy. All right. All right, my boy. All right. Sam know who he is. Yo, all right. yo. You're yo, yo, yo. All right, my boy, my boy, my boy Mills. My boy Mills, all right? Uh, AKA, all right, the, a- the, the Apex Legends GOAT. All right. <laughs> all right, Mr. Diamond. All right. Are he diamond? I was gonna say. Oh, oh, right. Right. I was on, oh your master? Why are you gonna lie to intro to everybody in the house? You gotta you gotta get it right. Tell me, 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 the podcast off, all right? You know how we do it every time. How everybody week been going, all right? I'm going to start with El. How your week been going, my boy? Going oh, good. Working. You know, we two jobs in. You know I mean? you know, um, I'm trying to get out this this bronze in this league of legends. Uh, been working with Joe. You know, we got some shit coming out next month. You know, ready. Dang. You know, uh I've been fucking with with Mike in this podcast, so you know, hopefully, this shit. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, been chilling. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Miller, Miller, how you, how, how you we been going, my boy? How, how you we been going? Man, I've been chilling, bro. I don't do nothing to work. I, <laughs> <laughs> I felt that. I felt that. Not a problem. I'm serious, bro. I, I just I just be there, bro. I, I've been chilling. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, I've been dealing with stupid NCOs, but Easy I'm just money. chilling, bro. I don't that. never do shit at work. I felt that. All right, Sam, Sam, mm-hmm. Sam, Sam. How, how you been doing, my brother? If you still here, brother man, he might be doing something. All right, D Nix. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. But being a minute. Oh, never mind. There you go. Minutes man himself. Yeah. Minutes man himself. Yep. <laughs> it's been a minute. This society, one one society at a time. Here you go. Dead. All right. Come back if you want, okay? <laughs> D-Nix. 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 I'm making some more catch How you been going, my boy? How you been going? Man, man, look. So, I've been trying to make it work. So, uh, I just renewed my lease. Shit only okay. went up about $70. I was, I was, glad, I was glad for that. How about? Um, that's okay. what I'm saying. Like, shit. Now, some also, people- I- I'll tell y'all right, shut up. I'll tell y'all right now. Mm-hmm. Um, next weekend, my brother from Louisiana, Monroe, is coming, in. and I'm trying to get all y'all niggas to come to my house and we gonna drink and have a good time, all the other stuff. Uh, I'm trying to put it together. I haven't, I haven't hit y'all up yet, but I'm telling y'all now. So Saturday you night, you uh-huh. have a brother from Louisiana, and it's not me. Not a little brother. Not my it's little it's brother. Like, no. like, shut up. And it's not me. Uh, <laughs> Mike, shut up. You look like a banana. Um, <laughs> also, you know, just been chilling, working, working, skating. Uh, you know, that's really it. Um, my friend wants to move move here. I started trying to help her in her move process. But other than that, I ain't doing much. That's nice of you. That's nice of you. Now, is it a friend friend or is it a, you know, a friend? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I like this? Uh, it's a friend. It's a friend. It's a friend. It's a friend. I knew somebody was going to say that. (laughs) He said he knew somebody was going to say that. I knew knew somebody was going to say that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, Joe, the main man, how how you been going, Mr. Rapper himself? I know what you doing yesterday. Bro, my life life been going crazy. I was in the stew yesterday. Nigga was going crazy. Damn, my kids crying. The nigga was in the stew with a waist trainer. I can hear that shit. <laughs> wow, bro! I was in that hole sweating. You right? Cause it got hot. All I split was flame. It got 
it got hot because you got that fat ass waist trainer on. Bro, and, and I talked to the Canadian people, so it looks like they probably gonna be a go. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Fuck America. I'm Armenian. Nigga, you was American. Where the fuck you gonna go? Joe from Canada? What the fuck? I cook your ass even more. Bro, ooh, I am. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <bro. laughs> he thought going to Canada gonna say. You know, Canada Yo, bro, say what did I tell you, bro? What did I tell you what was gonna happen, bro? These niggas gonna cook you some more, bro. <laughs> I can't say what niggas say. I can't even. say I'm Joe from Canada. I make I make maple syrup and wrestle moose. Bro, <laughs> what I'm, what it's meese. Meese. No, it's moose, nigga. You don't even know the Canadian pledge. <laughs> you haven't even been in, in, in Canada, <laughs> nigga. What? I am in real right now. I cannot this nigga believe. already got the lingo down talking about some it's meese. <laughs> Dang, what the fuck? No, Man. just look, bro. When I go out there, I'm going to be lit. All right. I'm all trying right. to steal no, all the bacon. Be cold. That's what you're going to be. You ain't going to be lit. You're going to be cold. I'm going to steal all the bacon. All the <laughs> Canadian. Nigga, that's just real bacon. Just Thank him. you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to talk to the prime minister. I don't know how they do shit out there. But I'm gonna have a good time. Wait, do they and have the a team? No, the fuck huh? that. The taxes are higher out there. That's why I, I see. I knew it, bro. I knew it. I told you, Joe. I was like, bro. I think the taxes is, is higher out there, fam. And you can't even speak French. Damn, bro. You so right about the French, but the taxes right. shit. I'm kind of. Bro, you gonna pay two dollars? All right, all right, all right, fellas. Look, Joe. Uh, all right, you gonna be paying two dollars for one of these, bro? And then everybody gonna be one dollar for, for a Dutch. Two dollars for a Dutch. You gonna bro. be paying two dollars for Rillos, bro? If I pay two dollars for a Dutch, bro, I'll fly back to. Him. <laughs> you don't got the money mean, like that. Who do you think you are, bro? It's a deal, bro. Deal. All right. So, all right, let's let's attack this first subject real quick. All right. So, <laughs> NFL dropped a top one hundred list. Okay, so Good. just. Just see how y'all feel about it. Do y'all agree with the list? Yeah, I feel like some people should be, you know, get play should have been high on the list. Some should be should be low on the list. You know, just get feedback off of it. I'm gonna say this. I only have one player. I only have one player that I really like took to heart. Minka Fitzpatrick should have been higher on the list. Top twenty. That's what he should have been. I I, I gotta agree with that. It was uh him. I feel like Alvin Kamara should be high on the list. I felt like, um, oh, Justin Tucker, the kicker from the Ravens. Hey, speaking of kickers, fam, did y'all see what the fuck just happened to from, um, damn, I fucking don't know. Um, I forgot what team it was. I just got the notification a couple hours ago. A punter from a team uh, got um, kicked off the team because he had allegations of a gang rape. Oh, it's off of Buffalo? Yeah, Buffalo Bills. That was a thing. That was a thing. So, just, just to, to bring full circle, right? So, the kick from the Buffalo Bills, he gets, he gets off rate something he did in high school. Damn, Damn. what the fuck? So. Oh, yeah, I did, I, I did just get that notification. That's what that yeah. person was? Yeah. Yeah, she was, she was, in, she was a, a high school f- Freshman, a senior, and he was in college. Like yeah. his first first two years of college. Damn, what the fuck? Yeah, so yeah. bro, bro got. I mean, oh, so he down bad. Yeah, the irony in the situation is, he kicked the longest punt of his career, and she kicked off a whole allegation against them the week after. Day. Yeah. Oh my God, I kicked off an uh, allegation. <laughs> nigga said nah. <laughs> nigga said kicked off an allegation, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, perfect timing. <laughs> she no, that's the thing. Cause, like, it's just, it's real unfortunate for like, especially a male in the society now. It's like, in, in court, it's supposed to be like, if it's to prove it guilty, but it's like, if a if a girl, like, accuses a man of rape, they're gonna like, believe the woman at all costs until like, they actually find like, proof that he didn't do it. I'll take it a step farther. Guilty until proven innocent. I I I'll take it a step farther. I'll take it a step farther and say this. Unless Uh-oh. you're a celebrity, unlike Johnny Depp, I'm not going to 
You're not gonna get me turned up. No, nope, I'm not doing it. I... It might. Pray and you prove yourself innocent in society. You're still gonna be looked at as a rapist. Like you, you don't a uh, rapist. I'm sorry, I don't know what platforms we on. Rapist. Um. Oh, so essentially, mm. essentially that girl. Just by making that allegation has essentially ruined your reputation forever unless you move. And they don't know nobody there. So unless you don't move, then you're stuck with that. Whether you did it or not, which makes it harder for you to make friends, make it harder for you to find a girl to be more skeptical of you, make it harder for you to Damn. focus find a job. Damn. It makes it harder for you for everything just because a girl shows a lot. True. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm not going to argue that. But yes, get back Hayden. to the main point. Because either way it goes, it don't look good on him. Because not only that is gang related, so that that's a whole nother issue. Like he, he, he got. I think mean, I don't know what they're gonna make this court case into. Honestly, because they're not a lot of inform- information on outside of what we know what the media put out. So we just have to wait and see. I mean, he already off the team, so I mean, it's literally the worst timing for him. Cause it's literally he'll try to make the fifth three man roster. And not get kicked off the team. In all your heart, to be like a- I said, Sean Watson should have got kicked off the team. If anything, Oops. yep. Like I Sean said, Watson. if if I say this, I say this. He has if you himself. make a rape, a, if you make a great allegation, right? Both parties should be suspended from their jobs. Mm-hmm. I, 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 both I, I parties can do that. until until proven one side or the other. And like I told y'all before, if it comes out true, man deserves life automatically. If it does not come out true, girl deserves 75 years in jail for lying. Oof. Up in the state. No, she, she at least deserves to go to jail it. if it is a false you gotta think about it. You gotta think about it. Yeah, most just like what I said. Just like what I said. She ruled your life forever no matter what. Even if it's false. I mean, she did get the man out of a, you know... Six figure contract at minimum. Yeah. So like you that, him. So but back to my main thing, right? So total hundred list, right? I said Justin Tucker need to be higher on the list and Alvin Kamara need to be higher on the list, right? Justin Tucker being no. num- num- number 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 hundred for after being literally the best kicker in like uh, in recent history, right? Being is he hundred? Yeah. I think he's a hundred, yeah. Wait, what what number is Alvin Kamara? He's like fifty something. Fifty something. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see nothing wrong with that. I, I feel like he could be a you little see lower. Nothing wrong with that. I feel like he could be something. You see nothing wrong with him being like Alvin Kamara. Like, he's, he's a little at least bastard. top thirty. At least top thirty. No. Eh, no. Not not last season though. No. Not last season. Not last season. No, not last season. No. Absolutely not. You we could. They going off of last season? No, hell no. Alvin Kamara was hurt majority of the time. You can't put him in the top thirty if you wasn't playing majority of the time. No, right. he's good where he's at. I'm thinking of Jenna. So this is top hundred. It's, it's judged season. based off that season. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's the players judging. Let's let's add that into the context. It's the players themselves judging their peers. It's not the fans. It's not the the executives, the GMs, the coordinators, the coaches. It is strictly player to player, peer to peer. This is what they think. So I agree. If, if that's how they feel, I don't see nothing wrong with that. Justin Tucker, yeah, he's good where he's at. I mean, yes, he's the most consistent kicker recently, but it's only like, oh, like a kicker. Like, yeah, it's like three kickers in the Hall of Fame and like one punter. So it's not really like the oh my god kind of situation in my opinion. Like the kicker from the Bengals. Yeah, uh, I forgot his name. Fre- Freeman Fre- Freerson. Yeah, I'm sure. yeah, I whatever. Got, I, but um, yeah, and that's it. That's pretty much it for that subject, right? We'll hop on to the next one, right? So, Dennis Rodman traveled to Russia for Brittany Griner. All right, so <laughs> just to make a quick son- a quick of what's going on, right? So, Dennis Rodman told the world that he wanted to go to Russia and talk to Putin and get Brittany Griner out. All right now, what is he? Now, that man needs to mind his damn business. 
I don't know what he all he know about politics, but he had talked to powerful people. He had talked to Kim Jong Un. He had talked to mm -hmm. Putin, and I think Mr. Trump. Yeah, like he talked to a bunch of people in in power. So Mr. Trump. Yeah. But ain't gonna lie, this guy. Oh, over, yeah. I I feel like he's kind of overstepping his bound right now. Uh. Him going over there is going to do absolutely nothing about her, like, coming back to the States. I feel like he's going to go over Agreed. there, talk to Vladimir, and be like, bro, let her go. He's going to be like, he's going to be like, damn. You trying to hoop, though? He's going to be like, hey, man, look, listen, we can go out, we can party in the club, but, but if you want to do that shit, let my nigga go. <laughs> no, bro, like, I'll show you the time of your life. Let my nigga go. Him going over there is the time of your life. Nothing. To her coming back. Go over there and have a great time. He's not going over there to talk about when he cried. That's oh my. <laughs> show him the time of life, and midway through, midway through, he gonna be like, "If you want this time to continue, sign this document right here." <laughs> sign this document right here. Go ahead, go ahead, go yeah, ahead. Sign this document here. Hey, go ahead and check this out, this document real quick for me, you feel me? Uh, uh, what you saying? It don't matter. You can be drunk and shit all you want. <laughs> I'm making a nugget. No, not him. Joe talking to his kids. <laughs> not Joe talking <laughs> to his kids. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's... I well, if I, honestly, this might sound weird, but then again, it's me, so this is probably normal. I like the idea of what he's doing because it's a lot better than what America was offering. Um, they were trying to get like do an exchange, one criminal, well, kind of criminal for like a really, really dangerous criminal. It's like, yeah, we kind of want to give you back your your problem. Like, I, I I like I like the attempt. I think it's a fair trade off to try to negotiate with the third party than like us dealing with them because we already talking about hey that one arms dealer that like like fucked up a lot of lives here. We'll give you him back, exchange for Brittany Grainer. Like, I uh, I'm not ready for yeah, that one though. That. It's like it's like they don't. It's like why would I take a problematic person when y'all dealing with the shit? I don't want more problems. <laughs> yeah, and then like once I get my problem back, your problem's gonna become my problem later on down the line because y'all don't and know what the fuck to do with him. And then guess what? It's, it's, we gonna have to go get his ass again, and that, that's a whole it, basically we're just going full circle. Exactly. That's what like Trump if we. Off. What if Dennis <laughs> Romney ends up getting yeah, locked up? Oh yeah, I ain't worried about that. Dennis be a, fine. It did Robbie get locked up? I ain't gonna lie, that'd be kind of funny. I ain't gonna. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's kind of like, what if we was like dealing with with Mexico, right? And we was like, hey, we will give y'all Chapo back. You give us like Shaq, right? Shaq's not gonna fuck up again. But we got still deal with Chapo. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's it's not a fair trade off. Cocaine for the be at, at his it's highest not... sell in years. It's just the thing is like you can't do anything about it. Like that's she did What's something up? wrong and illegal in their country. So like yeah. it, once you do something that is like we have completely different rules other than Russia. This is where people like yeah. misunderstand. It's like, yeah, like I understand she's been there for what was it like for weed or some stuff? Like Yeah, like, I understand like she's yeah, been there, she's confined. She's confined for a stupid reason, but she did something that was illegal in a different country that has different rules. So you, history, you do something, that, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get punished. And now, that Russia knows, like, oh, we really want you back. They're gonna try to make a deal that is in their favor, so they can get yep. what, like, what they want. And this is what people misunderstand. They're like, oh, if it was LeBron, like, I just don't. I LeBron just, would put himself in that situation. Would be the same. But LeBron, even if he did. Like, like hypothetically, if he did, yeah. like, the situation would still be the same. Like. It be it, it would even pull more weight because LeBron is a bigger influencer than Brittany Griner. All due respect, like come on, yeah. like, everybody mm -hmm. in the world knows who freaking LeBron is. People only know Brittany Griner through CNN and the fact that she got exactly. arrested. That is it. Exactly. She never got arrested. A whole bunch of people wouldn't even know who Brittany nah. Griner is. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Don't forget about her having paid child support for a kid that she helped produce, even though she don't have a thing. That was there oh, too. She's like back be a back child support from her like whole previous that. marriage. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm tracking Brittany. Brittany's from Texas. She's That's like true. really big back like, at home. But you've been tracking her. The casual fan, right? Is yeah. I don't know who the fuck that is. So yeah, of course. He's exactly right. That's like me coming, uh, Sam. That's like me coming to your house, right? At my house, it's okay to leave towels on the floor, right? 
And then right. I come to your house, I leave the towels on the floor, and you don't fuck with that. And you get upset with me because I left the towels on your floor. And it's just like, I get upset with you because, like, I'd be like, oh, I can do that at my house, though. This ain't your house. Mm hmm. So, you know what now, I'm saying? That's see, why I'm right. But here's the argument that I've heard, and I'm kind of okay. still debating on how to, like, navigate this perfectly. So, so people were like, well, what's the difference between Brittany Granger being a citizen for a different country and a diplomat? And why the people from different countries who have diplomatic privileges can pretty much break the law and not get arrested? So that part, I'll have to get back to y'all now because I'm still trying to figure that shit out. Well, i I answer that right now for you, actually. Shoot, the go world, ahead. Money talks, status talks. The world is not fair to begin with. So it doesn't yeah. matter. Because, listen, if me or you got detained in Russia... We wouldn't even make the news. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. <laughs> I mean, exactly. some people didn't know about the fact that she has some type of status. Hold on, Mike. I'm going somewhere. But, so the fact that she has some type of status gives her that platform to do this. If it's LeBron, a bigger platform. The world is not fair. That's what people have to understand. I'm not going to go to Russia and think I can do whatever the fuck. Just like Lil Pump. Lil Pump went to Japan and got salty because no one knew who the fuck he was. <laughs> same thing. Cause you're a random. Cause you're a random. Yeah. You're a random. Oh, but, oh, That's what I'm well, saying. Um, like, the James world is Harden not fair. Rose, 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 Rose. Rose. And so, there's already there's already no names confined in Russia. Exactly. So, like there's exactly. a lot of people that we don't know that are confined to Russia, but we're not making a big deal about them. Exactly. That's, That's what I'm saying. If we, if you're gonna get Brittany Griner out, you gotta get everybody out at this point. So how is it fair to them? Exactly. exactly. The world is not fair. The world is not fair. So people that exactly. be like, whoa, that's not fair. That's not this, this, and that. It doesn't matter. Because the world is fair. You be making the same amount of money as your store manager. Oh, yeah. <laughs> true. The this world is, is not fair. Facts. And, and the, facts. Sooner people, the sooner people come to the realization of that, the, the better off the world will be. All right. So I got money. Dudes with money can do whatever the fuck they want to do. People with less money cannot do the same thing that LeBron do. Mike, you cannot do what LeBron does. Hell yeah. You got damn right. You cannot do what LeBron <laughs> does. So, I, I, I'm going to put LeBron this... can literally smack somebody in the face and be like, oh, and that's it. You saw somebody in the face, it's you a whole idea. slap back, slap, but yeah, over, a whole ordeal. So... So, let, know, let, 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 me, let me push this point, right? The seriousness of the situation, right? Of what she did, right? So... Let's just say, right, a foreigner of the United States, right, bring illegal drugs into the States and we catch you, right? TSA catches you. Okay. All right? That's good. Thanks. No matter how, what the drug is, right, let's say it just brought weed over, right? And it wasn't a lot. It's still considered contraband. And that's the fact you brought weed over. It's the fact you brought contraband over. This is a legal substance that's not supposed to be okay. in our country. And you got caught with it. So mm -hmm. now... Mm -hmm. It's different if you already have weed in the country. Right? You already in the country and you have weed on you. All right, cool, whatever, right? It's, it's a misdemeanor. You know, might get a tick or whatever, right? It's the fact that you were outside the country. Now you're bringing it inside of our country. Now they're going to charge it as, oh, now you're transporting drugs into our country. Mm -hmm. now, it's a, now, now it's a whole different ballgame now. now. Now we're talking about mm -hmm. five years, six years, seven years. Just because you brought something that wasn't supposed to be in the country, right? Mm -hmm. And I had perks, and they weren't prescribed to me. And Yo, I what? And, oh, hold on, Mike. Hold on now. Wait, hold on. Wait a hold minute. On. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> cool now. Hold on, player. You say, you say too much now. Go, go get me caught up. Not cool now, but <laughs> not. <laughs> hold on, player. <laughs> hey, look. This is say y'all asses too. This is say y'all asses too. Goddamn perks. <laughs> Look, all right, but yeah, I get what I'm trying to say, right? And you have a legal substance that's not supposed to belong in that country, and you bring it over to that country and get caught with it. It's a serious ordeal, whether you bring it for recreational use or for the purpose to sell. It doesn't matter at that point. She, she 100% knew that like it was illegal in that country. Exactly. There's no way she didn't. Like Did you, she, I mean, they did. You know what you're doing illegal. Like, you yeah. know that. So you go into that country, you have to know the rules. Because if you do something that is out of their, just like, out of the, the rules, obviously you're going to get in trouble if you get caught. If you get caught, you can get confined. If you get confined, then, like, there's not much your country can do for you. So 
that is really on her, even though it's, it, she's in for a stupid reason. Yeah. But, yeah. Let's say, if she had it, she bought it in Russia. Probably she had it prior to going to Russia, and that what makes it a big no, 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 no. She bought it. No, 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 no. She brought it in Russia. We're trying to bring it back to the U.S. So it wasn't even U.S. based. This was something that she acquired oh. out there and trying to bring it to the U.S. So it, technically, yeah. she was smuggling in, uh, in, in, in their fucking country's language that's smuggling and some more shit. So she brought it over. She brought it from there trying to bring it back. It was mm. her carry on. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, um, it, it's the other way around. She didn't, she didn't already have it with her. She was bringing it with her back. That's why she got caught up coming back, not going, but coming back. Because when she was going there, we should have been in our prison. But that's not the case. She's in theirs because she brought, she was trying to bring it from their country to ours. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, makes sense. All right, yeah. too easy. All right. So, <laughs> Still stupid either way. Like, yeah, either way is dumb. But... You know what I'm saying? Dude? So, yeah. all right. NFL season predictions. All right. So here we go. All right, everybody got their favorite teams in here. So I'm gonna let everybody give off the team what they think the record this year is gonna be, right? And then I'm gonna say whether I think this is complete bullshit or not. <laughs> Oof. Let me go first. Let me go first. Let me go first. Let me go first. Let me go okay, first. Okay. 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 Uh, I, I feel as if this is unbiased opinion. By the way, this is no favoritism. This is no nothing. Mm-hmm. My team, the Green Bay Packers, are going to finish, finish second in their division mm. behind the Vikings. Mm. I also feel as if the Chargers are going to win their division. Mm. I also feel as if the Cowboys are going to come. It's going to come down to a nail biter between the Eagles and the Cowboys. Mm. Okay. okay. Damn, Damn, I thought the was division. doing good. Uh, he, he was doing good. It, then we just started to talk about the Cowboys again. <laughs> okay. I said I'm nail biter between the Eagles and the Cowboys. That's what I said. I know. I don't see how long it's going to take before we, we not start talking about Cowboy things. You know, I don't feel like being a lawyer today, but if I got to, I will. It wasn't even a lawyer thing. I don't listen. I'm, I'm recognizing two teams in your division because the Giants are not, are not going to do nothing to y'all. The e- uh, not the Eagles. The uh, the Redskins are not going to see y'all. Your only competition no, in that division is the Eagles. Like, Wait, I'm the, going commanders Redskins, now? the Commanders, whatever the fuck their name is. <laughs> um, but like, so what I'm saying is, but nah, I, I have to disagree. I think our biggest problem is going to be it's going to be the fucking Commanders. My uh, and, so and I'll talk about that when it's my bro. Talking and, about? Hold on. Okay, about? so I'm a so, Philly fan, bro. No. Hell no, okay. they're not going to so, be an issue. Let me, let me ask you a question, right? What is the most important position on the field? Quarterback, right? Quarterback. Name, if, you have to list, if you list from one to four, you know Jameson, not Jameson, he, damn, he's on my mind right now. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> hey, yo. Name? <laughs> hey, yo. Uh, Hurts, there it is. Jalen Hurts is like three. Jalen Hurts is unproven. Carson Wentz is number two. That's that's a dead what? giveaway. He's number two. He's not. He's not. What? So, Let me so, ask you. Jalen Hurts. So, Hurts so, I'm picking Jalen Hurts. So, so, so answer me this: When has Jalen Hurts took over the division? In one point in, in one of his seasons, when has he ever been let that team to be the best team in that division? Carson Wentz has done it. Was done in MVP candidate. Can I say something? Can I say something? Can I say something? Can I say something? Go up. That but, year they went to the Super Bowl. What year? What, what week did he get hurt? That was two. It was 20... 2017. Hold on. Hold on. I want to say twenty seventeen. Carson. Yeah, he was like he was like six in like the NFL 100. He was Sam, like Daniel Sam, MVP candidate. Sam, let me ask you this: Are you What's arguing? Up? Are you arguing who's going to be your biggest contender? Or are you arguing that the Cowboys are don't have no contenders? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, saying the, the biggest. If, if we I, currently right now, if we sneeze, I have a feeling that the Commanders might sneak that one in because they got a better defensive line like than Bones, all of us. And offensively, all they was missing was a quarterback. I don't like their, you know, I don't really like their team, but I have to admit, yeah. they got firepower. They just didn't have they a quarterback. Do. 
They do. I'm not saying yeah. they're they are ass. I'm saying nah, they're upset. The, team. the Eagles is not it. Yeah, nah, the Eagles is not it, bro. The Eagles is not it. Not I, even I close. I don't, I don't agree with Cause that. Because one, Jalen Hurts is still the quarterback. All that yeah. talent, you still got Jalen Hurts. It's, it's the same thing with the Commanders when we had that losing season where everybody was like pretty much ass, like in 2020, where they went to the playoffs at 79. They had Taylor Heineke. It's the same situation. You cannot go far with mediocre talent at the quarterback level. It doesn't happen. Unfortunately, oh, Carson Wait, 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 so, really so, cap, oh. but, you know, it's fine. So, so, That's the shut the hell up. Him. Shut the hell up. Let me speak. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goddamn. Niggas. God but, <laughs> so, so, all right. The Redskins, all right. You say the fact that they are a competitive team is outlandish. You know why? Or the fact Jamie, why? not Jalen Hurst is not. Jalen Hurst video. is listening on your mind, bro. <laughs> <laughs> good, I mean, they, they, I, I they're pretty much know. the same right now. They like the same category. Jalen Hurts. All right, bro. Jalen Hurts. All right. Say he only what played two years. This is third season, correct? No, this is this is his last season. This is this is last season of his of his rookie contract. Well, no, was, no. Uh, correction. This is his third season. Yeah, next third season, season is his last season. Same city came at the same time. Okay, right. Year three, right? Mm-hmm. In his first two years. His receipt to say that his offer was like top tier is outlandish. All right, I think his starting run was with Miles Sanders, and he okay. only had that one season where he kind of had a, a good season, and that was because everybody else was hurt in his like mid year. Okay. Right, the number one okay. receiver at the point was uh, before they got Devontae Smith, and then even then he got hurt. Uh, what his name is. What the fuck was his name is? I can't think of it. Either way, it's an unknown Deshaun nigga now. Jackson. Okay. They mm-hmm. have he freaking here. They had Deshaun Jackson. I don't think he did. They, they, they do it. He, game, okay, it's I'm, like I'm, a season. I'm play the game and listen to y'all at the same time. But what, what about Deshaun Jackson? I said was we, he, the last time he was an eagle. I think Jalen Hurts. I think he was, was the he, eagle when Jalen Hurts was there. Was he a uh, rookie? I said I thought uh, he was gone already. He probably wasn't starting. I'm pretty sure he was an Eagle, though. Yeah. Probably like, yeah, like maybe his first year. Yeah, look up here. He was a rookie. Yeah, he was a rookie. Year when oh, okay. He was drafted from Oklahoma. Yeah, 2020. Okay. Okay. Because that, that, after that, that Deshaun uh, Jackson, he went to the Rams, but then he left. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. He- uh, bro, you know who who really had the Eagles in the in a chokehold from that was really a GOAT? Nick Foles. Who Nick Foles. Nick Foles. What did you? He was the god, bro. The Eagles. Like, what to, this Foles, day, man. to this day, mm-hmm. the Eagles they're made they're the they're worst they're decision. Oh, wait, Nick Foles still gives me nightmares, bro. He didn't oh, bro. prove. <laughs> he didn't prove. <laughs> he didn't what? Nah, I mean, look, look at him now. He's a backup, bro. He's a backup what? still. Nobody's taking that gamble with Nick Foles. There's a reason no for that. Taking that gamble. Bro, what are y'all? He this nigga beat Tom Brady. Where's he in starting at? Prime, bro. Nigga, where's he? Where's he starting at? Had to win three games. That's it. Three. That's it. Where, Those where's three he starting at? Games were important. What do you mean? There were playoff right. games okay. for the Super Bowl. Where, he was starting? where bro, did he start? What? Is he starting right now? No. Have you heard of him since then? Not on the Eagles, bro. What do you mean? Have you heard of him since then? Have you heard of him since then? I'm saying right, my but, but, point is. My point uh-huh. was the Eagles made the worst decision of letting him no, go didn't. when he won the Super Bowl for the team. I'm no. with Sam. No. no, they didn't. Bro. They, he only had one moment. One moment, bro. Listen, he, he was so great. The dude no, had listen, two. Listen, 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 but you have to understand when you play a quarterback, you got to be consistent. He had two moments in one season. He was consistent. He, what the fuck? Right. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Get him, get him, afterwards, get him, get him. afterwards, where is he at now? He's a backup for a rookie. No, because we mm-hmm. won the Super Bowl. Won the Super Bowl. Season where is he after, at now? Won, listen, listen. He won right. the Super Bowl. We let mm-hmm. him go after the Super Bowl. After that season, we got him back, and we mm-hmm. won the division. Bro, that's mm-hmm. consistent, fam. After Wait, that, they the let him go again. Yes or no? Was he the starting they quarterback? Gave, yes or no? Can I ask you, was he the starting quarterback? Yes or no? That's a no, simple question. Yes or no. Came along, bro. What Thank do you. you. Mean? Okay, so then, so then that means, listen, 
Who's you don't lose your you don't lose your starting spot to a rookie unless that rookie's better than you. Yes or no? Ah. Yes or no? Obviously not, because right now Jamie. Uh, not God that's, damn it. I said that's Jamie not what I asked you. Yes or Jamie, no? That's Jamie, simple yes or no. Yes bro. or no? Eh, no. Do you lose uh, your starting position to a rookie? Alex no, Smith man. wasn't it? Arguably, I, mean, I feel like. Come here. We gonna say uh, Mills. I say like, coming from a Patriots fan. You know, Nick Foles still haunts me to this day about that Super Bowl. But mm -hmm. we're not going to sit here and act like Nick Foles is some scrub. That's like, I understand. He's, I know he's a backup, but That's when he it. got called in he's to a... win those three games, he won those three games. It's ultimately okay, the most but... important one. And then, came oh, back, those three... and then came back after a season of getting off the Eagles, came okay. back and still won the division. Hey, 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 one at a time. Hey, 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 one at a time. Listen, no one's saying he that he's a scrub. No one's saying he's a scrub. No one's saying that. He is a elite backup. That's it. I can give him I can give him a lead backup. That's fair. No That's one fair. nobody is gonna risk him being a starting quarterback. That's why he was not starting. Even when Carson Wentz was was it was was terrible, they refused to start him. Period. Would you want Joe Flacco starting on your team? That again? Yeah, just, they, I, I they even gave Joe, Joe, Joe Flacco a moment. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they had Flacco once upon a time. You know what I'm saying? Would you want Joe Flacco starting for your team right now? Would you they want Joe Flacco? Joe? Big arm Joe on your team right now. No, no, absolutely not. Exactly. I, don't I mean, think so either. I mean, first of all, because he's outside his prime, right? You can't call him Big Arm Joe. The, the biggest thing about Joe Flacco was when he was playing in his prime. In fact, he had a mean ass deep bomb. That, that Nick his... Foles and Joe Flacco are essentially the same thing. Exactly. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yep, I I'm agree. not going to sit here and call on Joe Flacco. I'm gonna sit here and call on Nick Foles for sure. Okay. For elite, the the same thing. Oh, look. So, all right. So, boom. Let's scratch that for elite backups. Top five elite backups quarterbacks. Bro, the fact that we talk about backups is just to tell you how bad this conversation just got. I'm not talking about uh, starting bro. quarterback. I'm talking about backup, bro. This man is a great <laughs> backup. He would never be a starter, bro. This conversation is dead. Back to the situation. It is. Listen, team to, that, that that has the Cowboys number or close. Is the commanders that's the only team in the division? The Eagles is unproven. You can't sit here and tell me that because what they did in the offseason, they're close, they're not. First of I mean, all, he's 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 time out, time out, time out. This is a prediction. We can, we can, this is a prediction. Like this down. So we're, we're allowed to have predictions. Cowboys won. Wild card team is going to be the commanders, and Jalen Hurst loses his spot to so some, some new rookie There's coming the in the draft. On the commanders was even a wild card last uh, 2020, right? When, yeah, they lost to Tampa Bay. Yeah, yeah 2020. They, they was a wild card. Who's your team? I'm a Cowboys. That's no, obvious. No, no, L. L oh. Who's your team? He's Eagles. He's Eagles. Really? Oh, yeah, oh. that hurts his feelings. That's why. Bro, your team is unproven. You you have to be the most unproven team in our division. All right. Yeah. We know the Giants are going to do nothing. Oh, oh, man, bro. You are a cowboy fan saying Where's, that, but, bro. But listen, listen. Y'all are on fan. What are you talking no, about? What are you talking whoa, 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 whoa. Chill Pro with that. Pro prove, prove, show me what, show me the lies. Show oh, me every the lies. year y'all sit here and say y'all finna win yes, it all, No, 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 Show me the lies. Y'all yet to prove me in the last 25 years have, I had 23 years I've been alive. Y'all have not proven me shit, bro. So I don't want to hear nothing, man. Is that it? Y'all have not it? won a Super Bowl. The only thing y'all got is the division is wins and playoff wins, okay. fam. Is that it? And old so, ass Super Bowl rings. Okay, so is that it? Is that the best you have, you bro? Can't, That's, bro I could, you can't I could have been arguing with you and got better. Bro, you can't oh, prove to me that the Cowboys is a better team since I've been alive, bro. I can, actually. It's easy. Who has a better quarterback? Hold on, Sam. Hold on, Sam. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, I'm going to have a Cowboys fan. But I would choose the Cowboys over the Eagles simply because they have a proven running back, a proven quarterback. They have a, a receiver that is dynamic. They also have a receiver that's coming off injury reserve that's coming back midseason. They have a ball, a ball hawking corner. They have great linebackers, great D line. They have, they definitely do have a 
Oh, defense line is overrated. I'm gonna put that there. Defense line is overrated. Defense line is overrated. But that's my opinion. But but I wouldn't even say that. I'm not even a Cowboys fan. I'm defending them. So it's just like oh, I don't know, I don't know why you're defending the team who hasn't won a Super Bowl in 25 uh, okay. years, bro. I tell you what. I tell you what. Hey, check this Y'all out. Y'all have Let's not won a, a Super right, Bowl right. in 25 okay, years. It. That's cool. But check this out. Let me tell you how bad your your, your whole division. Your, your whole that's the whole goal of the NFL, listen, bro. Is to listen, win a Super Bowl. Listen. I don't give a I'm, fuck I'm, about I'm, anything I'm, else. I'm, he's that brother. Man, man. It's the way it's going to be. I put it in it's, it's, it's going to break your heart. You're going off the pass. I'm y'all, gonna say it, something y'all going off the pass. You ready? Are you, are you ready? Listen, I'm going to tell you something that's going to break your heart. You ready? Right. 2020 right. season. Hey. Y'all had the option to trade up with the Cowboys. Y'all chose not to. We took CeeDee Lamb. Y'all took Jalen Hurts. Who so far has had the better career? Okay. It don't matter. Did y'all, go, did y'all go win Hold a Super Bowl on. with CD? Here we go. No, y'all didn't. Here we go. Here's the worst one. So, y'all traded with us. We had the number 10 pick. We traded down to take 11. Y'all took Devota Smith. We took Michael Parsons. Who's having a better season right now? Damn. Right now, no one because the season ain't started. Okay. Who's had, who, Who's went further? Y'all just replaced him as, as receiver one. You want the Super Brown. Bowl, bro? What do you mean? Wait, wait, talk about, talk about. Y'all drafted Devontae Smith. He would hurt, and though. replaced him with AJ Brown. Who? You said Devontae Smith would hurt. Bro, all we can go off based off is the past uh, as of right now. I'm talking about now. We talking about why your we team can. is not the better than mine. season ain't start. But I'm telling you what's already going on in your organization. Y'all are moving backwards. You drafted a quarterback. That's what you think, but you don't even know that. You ain't even in the organization for real, so you can't say anything. You're going based <laughs> off of opinion but I am. and prediction. I am. Listen, just, just, just hear, hear what I have to say. It's, it's going to be pretty entertaining, actually. Check this out. Y'all moving backwards. Y'all drafted a receiver over a linebacker. Then you draft a linebacker that had a torn pectoral who could not perform at the combine, and he's questionable as far as he's going to be healthy this season. Then you backdoor and take a quarterback who's unproven, to pass with his receiver, who is now the receiver one, is have the better better season than he is. And then not to mention, you take Jordan Davis, who's not even a third down back, a three down back, to replace Fletcher Cox when Michael Parsons was available, and you to scratch that knee for having defensive help. Y'all guys are not going nowhere whatsoever. Oh, whatsoever. Y'all not going nowhere. It does y'all not matter the because one, the season ain't start. Two, y'all ain't winning Super Bowl in twenty five years. Okay. Y'all can do so much shit, draft so many good players, bro, and y'all still will not win a Super Bowl, bro. You know what's crazy? The whole point you know, of an I... NFL is to win a Super Bowl. No, my word. That's Future. it. Nigga say so, what's on. Well, that's y'all it. can have all the stats in the damn world, bro, but y'all will never win a Super Bowl. You know what's that crazy? That hurts. Y'all they will really draft all the Dax, all the Zeeks, uh-huh. all the damn All CDs, the Michael Parsons. All Michael the Parsons. Parsons. But y'all would Trayvon never get did. to the, the, the end goal of the NFL. You know what's crazy? If if we don't go, y'all don't go because we stop y'all from going all the time except for one season. That's fine. Because in my lifetime, the Cowboys ain't win a damn Super Bowl, but my team won a Super Bowl. That's, hey, that's okay. Fine. And then on top so of that, that, we beat the most overrated, the most best quarterback in the NFL as of right now. Oh, whoa, 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 Wait, oh, time I out. I don't care. T- time bro. out, time wait, out. Wait, 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 he, he what? Listening, people just what? sit here and bandwagon Tom Brady. Was, what? All the bandwagons come L. on the Patreon. L. L. Tom Brady L. 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 I'm gonna need you to be quiet real quick. Let me let me, let me let me preach to you real quick, right? All right. All right, bro. You can't call him overrated, right? When he got more rings, all right, on one hand, than your team got on what? one hand. You can't talk shit when he got more rings on one hand than your team got in general. You can't talk bro, shit. It was a little, little Patriot hate, Brady bro. It's okay, it. bro. It was a little Patriot hate, bro. Calm down. No. Um, no. I understand. Hey. We don't disrespect, we don't disrespect the GOAT. Not hey, in this chat. We're not going to disrespect Tom Brady like that. Hey, Mike, yeah, exactly. let me ask you a question, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. What's up? What's Mike, up? You're, you're, you're a smart man. Let me ask, let me ask yeah, you, Mike, so, and D-Nick. Y'all, y'all are smart people. What's up, right? bro? What's up? What's up? 
if my team dropped 90 points on your team in two games, mm-hmm. do you think that do you think that team is more than likely gonna repeat the same the same outcome without changing anything? Yeah, I mean I was okay. Scared. They'd have to really okay. mess up to not. Okay, so mm-hmm. that's more than likely. So what I'm getting at with this, the Cowboys didn't change much of anything last season. The same look. Last year, same feeling and year. the same not winning the Super Bowl again. They I don't care if I don't go they to the Super all, Bowl. All the teams in the in the NFC East, the Eagles got it the worst. They got ninety points, bro. Ninety ball. That's unheard of. We put ninety points in two games on y'all. It wasn't even close at all, and we didn't change anything. That, we went that's hurt, so nice. hurt, ninety points, tired, all that. Y'all all not right. doing nothing, bro. The Commanders is the only team I'm worried about. So, so. Let me get my NFL predictions out the way after this whole debacle. Yeah. All right. Like y- the damn Saints, bro. Shut the fuck up, nigga. All right. <laughs> Let me speak. It's going to be All the right. Giants. Wow. The Giants. All right. All right. <laughs> 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 he he got to be trolling. Oh, my God. <laughs> ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me. <laughs> All right. So, all right. I got the Saints winning the division, right? Going. I don't. Uh, Not even close. That's not happening. All right, shush, shush. Let what? me get my shit off. Let me get my shit off. All right. Go ahead. Going. All right. Going ten. All right, ten to seven. All right. Oh my god. All right. I, I can't oh. listen to this right now. All right. No. Let, let me explain. Mm-hmm. Let me explain. Right. Because, because speaking, right, we had never lost, but only once. To the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, because that's our biggest comp in our division right now. It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay. All right. And. When it comes to winning division, right? Let's say I like, I would look at their team, right? If we some reason get the same record. For some reason, we get the same record. We won't have as far as division wins over them because we won't have already beat them twice. Because we okay. everybody know we got Tampa Bay number during the regular season. Okay. Right. Okay. Regular season don't matter if you can't get to the playoffs. Uh oh. Here we go. I mean, so if you talk about last year, right? Last year, y'all could be a great, y'all could be a great regular season team if y'all don't get to the playoffs. Is that all for nothing? I mean, true, you, you're correct, Uh-oh. right? So, right, last year, right? We could argue in fact last year. We beat them. <laughs> we beat them twice last year, right? Right, and went one. Okay, n- we went nine and seven, and then was something like that. It was nine and seven, nine and eight, something yeah, like that. Yeah, right? something like that. Right, and then the team that beat us out was was the Forty Nine ers. The only way they beat us out was because. The four, uh, Rams had to beat them for us to win in. Okay. So, mm-hmm. with, with, with that th- being the case, right? And we were hurt. Mm-hmm. We were hurt last year. We were hurt. All right? Mm-hmm. Let's just say. Still still hurt, okay. huh? Use that Y'all same still excuse is. last season. Y'all still Use that is. same excuse last season. What you mean? Michael we Thompson got a hamstring injury right now. I, I, I say the same last We were hurt last season. We weren't hurt last season. I mean, even before that, I'm we saying, weren't hurt. Michael, well, Michael, Tom, well, Michael Tom, Thomas is hurt now. I mean, I'm not really worried about that. I'm not really worried about that. And that. We got wow. more than enough. Okay. We, bro, we got more than well, enough. Yeah, and don't forget, Alvin Kamara might mean? not be there. But, you know, he's facing the failure. No, 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 he's going to be there. That won't happen until next year. Uh, I've been keeping up okay. with that. that won't, so this season, he, he'd be good for it. If anything, he might be out a couple games next year. But, but you said that same thing last season, though, Mike. What you mean? You said, oh, uh-uh. you're last season. I didn't say that. I had no you cap. I didn't say that last season because the only person that was hurt last <laughs> season. <laughs> what it sounded like to me is you have more confidence. You have more confidence in Jameis Winston than you do with Drew Brees. Whoa. Michael, well, Drew that's Brees? very, very, very. No, 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 no. Let me explain Ooh, myself, right? Let me spicy. explain myself. Because I ain't say I have more Oh, uh, answer that question. No, no. Answer the question. It's a simple yes or no. Do you have uh-oh. more confidence in Jameis Winston than you did in Drew Brees? Yes or no? No. Uh, I mean, I have, more, I, have, I have more faith I in Drew Brees. Yes or no? I, do. Yes I, have more, or I no. just told you I have more faith in Drew Brees than I do Jameis Winston. I mean, that's... that's, you, know, that's you weren't saying the same thing last year, though, when Drew Brees was playing. Uh-oh. I mean, the year before last? Correct. Let's fix it. Right? The, year, the year before last. Like, so the year you didn't talk about. Drew so play. no no. Uh, we, we shut up. Talking shut, about Drew play. I already, shut, no, you shut up. I'm telling you what you <laughs> said. No, I'm telling you exactly what you said. You talked about Drew Malcolm, play. Uh, 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 
Uh, you were talking about Alvin Kamara. You were talking about uh, Thomas and everybody else except Drew Brees. And now that you got Jameis Winston, now you're talking about Jameis Winston going to do this. Jameis Winston going to do that. Jameis Winston going to do this. We got Michael I, Thomas. What up in that shit? This is in there. So what is it? So, so it sounds like you're more confident in Jameis Time Winston out. than you are in Drew Brees. No, no. Uh -oh. See, let me explain myself. Then. Trouble in paradise. All right. Let me explain myself then, right? So that two seasons ago, right, when we – who did we lose to in the playoffs? We lost, no, we lost to Tampa Bay, if I'm correct. Right? Yeah, yeah, dude. Embarrassingly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Drew Brees. Drew, Embarrassingly. He, 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 hey, Tom Brady's first year there, too. Remember that. No, no. I ain't going to lie. But that, mm -hmm. I'm going to say this every time. The, the Patriots, no, not Patriots, the Tampa Bay defense that year was stellar. That that playoff defense Still was. Is. Yeah. Bro, right, what like, the fuck is my team doing? <laughs> I'm trying to find it out, too. Uh, so that's not, <laughs> so. Oh right. my, bro! I just fucking lost, bro. I'm so yep. pissed off, fam. No oh worries. my god, bro! I went, bro. I just went eleven. Don't worry. The Eagles will say, say the same thing. Don't all worry right. about it. Bro. All right, let me. All right, so let me explain oh, myself, the Knicks. Bro. All right, so okay. that year we lost them, right? That Bay defense played stellar yeah. that game, right? They got three interceptions off of. It was two or three interceptions off of Drew Brees, right? Drew Brees did not play a good game. That's a playoff game, right? But throughout that whole season, the only person that was hurt that entire season was Michael Thomas. That was a factor. Michael Thomas was hurt, and I think Terrell Armstead was hurt. Those are the only two players that was hurt. And I never, I don't remember some saying that, oh, the Saints being hurt was you already lost in the playoffs. No. I, t I appreciate sure I said Drew Brees played bad in that playoff game, and that's the reason why we lost that playoff game. And so what you're saying is you believe in Jameis Winston more than Drew Brees? No. Yep. That, that's, I'm going off of the mm -hmm. fact that he did not play good. If he didn't play good at playoff game, he didn't yeah, play good. Basically, the way, no, 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 basically what you said, you basically show, you basically pointed out that the fact that Drew Brees did not get, did not do good, and then you highlighted before that, you said how you believe in Jameis Winston because Jameis Winston can do this, this, and that. So you believe in Jameis Winston more than I Drew Brees. Yep. Accurate. I don't. I don't. I don't see Mike. how we get. I don't see how we getting this. Yep. Mike. I, don't, I don't see how we getting this because um because the, it's because the level of confidence that you're showing towards Jameson Winston when he's really unproven in comparison to Drew Brees in his like his final parts of his like whatever of his career. Yeah. Right. I mean, Drew Brees then is still better than Jameson Winston now. Yes. Yes. Like, exactly. I, I agree. Right. So if Drew Brees I, I, came back, he would be a starter. Yes. Like he he will start. No questions asked. No question asked. That's that's fact. I mean, Brett Favre with the Vikings and the Jets would probably did better than Jameson Winston, but you got more confidence in that, but which is crazy really, to me. Almost so, as crazy as saying the Eagles is going to catch the Cowboys. But so, hey, what about that? Me out. <laughs> All right, so you want to see Jameson Winston? So you want to see the uh, the uh, Jameson Winston play only four games as a starter as the Saints? Oh no, okay. three, three. Hmm. Three and a half game because he didn't play the full game with the four game. He got hurt, right? So yeah. in those three games, he looked great. Like I said, he looked good. So off of okay. the little small body work I've seen, yes, I have confidence in him to get the job done because he got the job done the first three games. So, so 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 let me say this: you so you have more confidence in the little body of work that James Winston put together. Mm -hmm. that the, how am I? I'll say, say the, the thing is right. I'm not even saying more confident because even when Drew Brees was the starting quarterback, I never count out Drew Brees. But if you play bad, I'm gonna call you out on it. If James Winston played bad again, James Winston played bad. If he played That's bad, he played bad. When as the same, when as he, he played play bad. Shit, after after Tampa, after they beat Tampa Bay, did you like go like like a two game losing streak? No. You sure? As a saint, no. He might win a chick. I'm just saying. I, I recall the Saints doing it one good time, and then after that, J Boy disappeared. Cause they were like, "What happened?" He was like throwing those long balls and yada yada yada, blah 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 blah. Who that? Blah 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 blah, and he just disappeared. Cause everybody turned into an MVP where they faced Tom Brady. Like, yep. I, it's just to get to that point. Like, everybody want to beat Tom Brady so bad. They play I mean, their best, they, and then next oh, yeah. game they yeah. feel like crap. Tom Brady. Tom Brady is such a goat that he turns regular players in. To MVPs that he played against. Yep, that's that's true. That's, Everybody that's, play their best when Tom Brady's in 
of their opponent. When the next game, well, they get actually, blown out. That's All not right. true. If that's you, not true. If you, no, no, that's not true. Beat Tom Brady, if you beat Tom Brady in a playoff game, you're considered greatest quarterback in the league the next season coming up. Hold on, y'all. I, I, I think y'all overdoing it with Tom Brady just forcing other other quarterbacks to play great because Jalen Hurts, damn for sure, didn't play great against Tom Brady in the playoffs compared to what Dak did in Week One. I'm just saying we got point the obvious. No, it was just it was just. Like I would say that. I would say that. Absolutely, I understand. The simple fact that we having a conversation about Jameis Winston. You said Jameis, uh, Jameis Winston, right? He went. Jameis no, Winston, I said Jalen Hurts. He went two oh, one. Hurts. The fact Jalen that we Hurts. having a conversation about Jalen Hurts because he beat Tom Brady. It's my point proven right there. If he would have beat some other quarterback, we wouldn't be talking about him. Because you beat Tom Brady, right? You beat Tom Brady in a critical game. Not no regular, you know, game one of the whole season or whatever. You beat Tom Brady in a critical game. That's the only reason you're relevant. That's the much how, that's how much clout Tom Brady holds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but he I, did. I was I was poking fun of the Eagles not getting a job against Tom Brady. Can can I can I he was bad by the way. Can I can I can I continue? Hey, Mike, I ain't gonna lie. I, I have Carolina ball. beating y'all. I got Carolina uh, That's crazy. beating the wild card, and y'all not. That's crazy. Um, So, we went, Jamie <laughs> we went two and one uh, his first three games. He beat uh the Jets. Huh? So, we, he beat Green Bay, lost to Carolina, beat the. Uh, the Eagles about beat, uh, beat the uh, Patriots, and they lost. Hey, to the, and then he got hurt against the New York Giants. Okay, so he so he's he's pretty much split the pot, in other words. Okay, yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. I I have Carolina being and number two, without, and y'all being three. And without Damon Winston, Mike, we beat Tampa twice. Mike, I have a hmm? question for you. What? I have a question Uh-oh. for you, Mike. What? Since he's got into the league, mm-hmm. right? Take away. Take away his college years. What? He didn't play a lick of college ball. Still plays level that he play at. You're a GM. You have a first a first team wide receiver, second team wide receiver, mm-hmm. a great running back, first team quarterback, great O line. You're basically on the verge of winning the Super Bowl. Are you picking Jameis Winston to lead your team to the Super Bowl? Just from his period, by the way, all the rest of the quarterbacks in the league. Compared to all the rest of the quarterbacks in the league. And they got all the other quarterbacks available, is what you're telling me. Yes. Yes. Of course, I'm not picking James Winston because I know the better quarterbacks available. <laughs> okay. Okay. So say, so say, uh, so say you're, you're in a fantasy draft to pick whatever quarterback you want. You have pick number six. Are you picking James Winston? And it's like the first round? <laughs> Duh. Pick number six pick, in the first round. I don't pick, I don't pick quarterback in the first round. I don't pick, a, I don't pick a quarterback team, in fantasy first. To so. lead your team, are you picking Jameis Winston for the sixth, number, sixth overall pick? I'm not picking a quarterback. Draft. I'm not picking a quarterback in the first round of the fantasy draft. So That's not what I asked you. That's not what I asked you. I asked you if it's a whole bunch of quarterbacks in the first round, you pick number six. Are you picking Jameis Winston number six? Out of every quarterback in the NFL. Uh oh. No. I what? never I never say he's no. the best quarterback. Okay. I never oh. say he's the best quarterback in the league, though. I don't want to hear your excuses. No, not excuse. But I'm <laughs> what are you trying to prove? I never say he's the best quarterback no. in the league. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. You have a number of eleven picks in the Shit. fantasy draft of only quarterbacks. You have pick number eleven. Are you picking James Winston? Number eleven? Yes or no. Number 11. Number 11. Let me just look. Number 11. NFL Give me a list of quarterbacks, and then I'll I tell you. Oh, shit. I, 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 it's I'm, getting I'm, spicy. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you guys. This year. Give me 15. Year. And I'll be like, all right, bet. Right, yeah, I'll pick him. I'll pick him. You're going to pick him at number 11. Top 11. Crazy. Top of- First and foremost, <laughs> definitely not Tom Brady. Definitely not Aaron Rodgers. Definitely okay. not Patrick Mahomes. I'm not picking him over them. Um. J- Justin Herbert definitely not picking over Justin Herbert. That's four. You think that is? Like outside of top ten, like we mm-hmm. can. He's outside of top ten. I, he Lamar is outside Jackson, of top ten. I'm not picking him over Lamar Jackson. That's five. Like 11, 12, 13. I I I'll pick him up around there. Cause they. Oh, so you basically say yeah, you at would, that point you, you got Kirk Cousins, even Derek Carr. 
You're saying your quarterback to leave your team is not even a top 10 player when it takes literally a top 10 quarterback to even make the fucking playoffs uh-uh. most of the time. Indeed. Unless, cool. unless, yeah. unless you have a, 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 a Jimmy fucking Garoppolo was a, Ravens Jimmy, team. Jimmy Garoppolo was a top 10 quarterback and he went to the Super Bowl. Jimmy Garoppolo was in top 10 quarterback and he went to the Super Bowl, so. Hold on, but wait, whoa, whoa. There's a caveat to that. He was, they, they, they was leading. He had a leading rushing. Yes, he had a lead. He had a leading rushing. Nah, you hold on. That's a caveat to that. He had a leading rushing. was offense. nasty, and and their run first system was even better. Matter of fact, he played. He's he like Dak Prescott. They play better off the play action. So if you don't have a good running game going, uh, uh, no. But as but far as effectively, better, but, effectively executing the system, Jimmy Garoppolo was that man. I ain't gonna lie. That ain't the hardest. I'm thing. Also, I, would I, would that, I would tag on top of that the fact that I literally asked you top three, top five. And top ten, and you wouldn't even pick Jameis Winston to number eleven. So there's ten other quarterbacks that you would choose before him. But I never said he was a top ten quarterback. So wait, what? What are you? What are you trying to get get out of this? Is my question. I said, I said, is I said, who would you pick? Would you pick him? Top three, top five, top ten. Who cares? What what, what point you trying to prove here? Is the question? We don't know now one quarterback that has won a Super Bowl and not in that year, in that specific year, and not been a top ten quarterback, top five quarterback. Joe Flacco, when he won that year, was considered a top five quarterback. But mm-hmm. Joe Flacco, for majority of his career, always a top ten quarterback. That's the no, point he he's getting at, bro. That's the point he's getting at. Every quarterback he, that's he's trying him, to say he needs to. Been, that he need you need a top ten. That's what he's trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Top twelve, at least top twelve. That's that's kind of like the cutoff point. There, there's not been a quarterback who was not at least in the top twelve, as far as starting quarterbacks that won a championship. Okay. Nick Foles, yeah, you, you can bring up Nick Foles, but that that body of work was at the cost of Carson Wentz. I mean, that's just gameplay. When that's, you that's got no film, it when you don't film on you, of course you're going you're gonna look great. Right. Right. So, but but that's what Denix is getting at. Like, I, I get what he's getting at. I think Mike does too. I mean, not Mike Miller does too. You just kind of like lost in the in, in the chemistry here. But it's understandable. Yeah, just just James I mean, Winston is not it, bro. You, you put more faith they, in James Winston than you did Drew Brees. I, I don't understand that. I don't understand how my well, that, well, that ain't that my yeah. issue right now. Oh. Why y'all people think I'm putting more and, and faith tr- in 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 in, in uh James Winston than I do Drew Brees? Because because when I had Drew Brees, the I didn't have to worry about nothing. I had to worry about nothing when I had Drew. I knew we were. Nah, you had plenty to worry about. When? I, look, he was. I had to worry about nigga. His nickname was Breezy oh. for a reason. I knew going into every week we had a chance Whoa, to win. Because Drew Breezy was, was He was named Breezy oh, back in like the early 2000s. Don't do that. He was not Breezy after like 2000 and like 10. Don't do that. He was still Breezy. What do you mean? Breezy was still Breezy. What are you talking about? Even then, even then, y'all offense was limited when it was Drew Breezy. Because Drew Breezy couldn't run. And I ain't mm-hmm. talking about no. I ain't talking about I know Lamar Jackson's type level. I mean, even Tom Brady yeah. started running, right? Even Tom Brady started running. But Drew Brees, Brees runs. Never can, ran. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa! He have ran a couple of times, a couple, a couple, a couple times, a couple maybe about five though. times out of his whole career. What no, I'm it's more is, than that. But when, continue. When you know, when you know, when you know, you have a quarterback and it's third and twenty, and, he, and you know he's not gonna run as the defensive end. You have free reign to do whatever you want. As a defensive end going against Lamar Jackson, you still have to keep your gap integrity. You still have to make mm-hmm. sure you mean. So, yeah, like, this like, man don't run out the pocket. Drew Brees still ran out the pocket, though. So, like, what? Drew Brees is not barely. Out the he barely ran out the pocket. This man going to take him 10 seconds to run five yards. Yep. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, he <laughs> he worked the pocket like any other pocket quarterback does. Right? Then Roethlisberger so, worked the my, pocket while running out the pocket when need. But you need to see the point. No, no, no he did when, not. No, even he did he not. Been when, that's even when it needs to be. Drew Brees did not run. Drew Brees yeah. hardly ever ran. It took ben him 10 seconds was running. to run. <laughs> ben Roethlisberger was running. I say, I say, I say this. Oh, oh, I feel like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, like Tony oh, Romo was a good pocket. Pocket, uh, throw run. Yes, it's crazy. I can respect that. Y'all get Tom, y'all get Tom, y'all get Tom yeah, Brady did, all did. the praise when he runs just as much as Drew did. 
is crazy. Who? No. Tony Tom. Romo ran more than Drew. I said Tom Brady. 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 Fuck that. Shut up. Shut up. I'm talking. It's the only person that ran the last. Nigga, Alan, I can't meet you. I'm running, sir. I can meet you right now. It's like, no, bro, I wish up. he had it's his camera on, bro. Oh my goodness. Because <laughs> I know he's in the guard. Only, only person that ever ran less than Drew Brees. Only person. Because when Peyton Manning ran, nine ten out of ten, he looked stupid as fuck. And he said, I'm not doing that shit again. <laughs> <laughs> As facts. So Alex and Smith. Tony Romo did run a lot. Tony Romo ran a lot because he had a bad offensive line. So he so, had the running gun. So, so, all right. So, in the era of pocket oh. quarterbacks, right? In the era oh. of, of pocket quarterbacks, right, we had. Oh. I, I'm so stuck on this Tom Brady thing. Like, yeah, he, Tom Brady and Drew Brees ran about the same amount. They ran when it was needed. That's what was it. But a majority of the time, they named me a holiday when Drew Brees ran. Uh, against the Falcons, he hit a spin move on, I forgot the fucking linebacker name, and scored a touchdown on it. There what was one. Was what year? Twenty is late, like twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. It's on his. Okay. It's on the back half. It's on. It's his back half of his career. Either way, it's the back half of his career. From his career, starting in two thousand, I, uh, uh, roundabout from twenty twenty one, you have one highlight running play of him. The I can remember mm-hmm. of recent history. Hey man, got like two. I ain't gonna lie. He has two. Two. I think he had no one. He had like. He had like. He had one that was a run play against. But he was a charge at that point. Now, like his rookie year. Or his. No, his second year, actually. And that's when he broke his damn shoulder and got traded. Not even traded. Picked up by the Saints. Because mm-hmm. if it wasn't for the Saints, his career would have been done. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can say so about any, you can about any quarterback. So what, what are you trying to prove is the point of. Are you arguing? You can't, oh, say that. you can't say that about any quarterback. You can't say that about any quarterback. Nope. But you can. You can't. So, so what? Mike, let, let me ask you a question. What? I, I'm, I'm curious to know. Oh my would you pick Jameson Winston over Baker Mayfield? <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> you would? I'll yeah. Baker. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't know, bro. Baker, I ain't gonna Baker lie. Definitely. The, yeah. I, 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 nah, Baker nah, Baker. nah, nah. Only because, all right, if you watch Baker Mayfield play. There's definitely like the, the, the lack of knowledge, because he, like he simply don't huh? know what's going on during the time of the game. His decision making is horrible, right? And this is someone who can't see. Wow, that's crazy. That's your only excuse, Mike. Bro, he can't you're see. a quarterback. He can see. He's a quarterback. He's shooter ever. Steph Curry can't see. Bro, shooter yep. ever. But also, you don't yeah. have. Five to ten. Don't even get me started on Steph Curry. Don't even get me started. You know what? Yeah. We're going too long on this subject. Mike, so we're going to time out. We're going too long. Nah, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Mike. Hold on, no, Mike. no, 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 no. Dude, I'll oh, pitch you on me right now, son. <laughs> so I can get this. Push to the next point. All right. I'm the host here. All right. And that's it. It's time to move on to the next subject. It's time to move on to the next subject. All right, bitch. All right. <laughs> so, all right, mm-hmm. you know the, the sports thing will come back anyway because it's part one of would you rather's. So, but the first would you rather is would you rather have the ability to fly and never touch the ground, or have the ability to teleport, the one. or have the ability to teleport but you can never walk through any doors. <laughs> Essentially the same thing. I, I mean, there's no, it, it's really no cons to both of them. I, I'm gonna choose teleport only because I'd rather teleport because I, I don't have to worry about trying to commute for gas on other. Stuff. Nah, no, no. So, 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 yeah, so, so teleport is more convenient. So, since like if you're flying and you can never touch the ground, what's the point? You get stuck in the air for the rest of your life. Basically, <laughs> you can have sit in a chair. Yeah, I think, can, I think flying. Earth. Maybe the government gonna come at, the government gonna come for you like why does nigga floating this shit? Like, you know, I'd rather just <laughs> teleport through a door. So here's the but here's the rules as far as teleportation, right? And flying, right? So as far as teleportation, the only place you can teleport is places you've been to. 
the signs of moving jump. So if I take a picture of the place, I can continue going back there. Basically, right? Physically uh, been there or physically been there? Yeah, physically be there. Physically? Yeah. And then, as far as flying, uh, oh, and teleport takes out a lot of energy. Out of time. There you go. Uh, it was Sam. I, I just muted for half a second so I could get this off. Uh, so when. Oh, saying, oh yeah, so when you teleport, you'll only can teleport places you've physically been. And then if you're flying, uh you can fly, but you get tired eventually, right? And like you can't sleep on beds, you can't sit in chairs, like you cannot uh, literally be on any object in a sense. I'm still choosing teleport. When I choose to teleport, what the fuck? Mike, what kind of shit is that, bro? What? That don't even sound like a real... Oh, talk about... Uh, mute you for a second, bro. Uh, let me talk about shit. I had, to, I had to get a point off real quick. Well, it'll make more sense if you said if you teleport, every time you teleport, like, you get extremely exhausted. And every time you fly, you can only fly for an hour straight. Or you get, like, air sick or something. Yeah. Shit yeah. like that. So, Even then, I'll still choose teleport. <laughs> Either way, you still choose teleport. Okay. I don't think, yeah. I don't think everybody choose teleportation. I can't go lie. I, I personally like heights like that. So, you know, I'd rather, you know, be on ground level and just teleport wherever I need to go. You kind of want, you want to be, Imagine, I didn't go to a bank once. And I can take all the money and just teleport back to my crib. We've all seen the movie Jumper. Exactly. Yeah, I'm we, know how to get we, Sorry. we all know how to get that. So, the next would you rather, right? So, to save your life, would you rather have Justin Tucker kick a 70 yard field goal or Steph Curry make a full court shot on the first try? Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Steph Curry. I, I, I would, I, Justin, I would trust Justin Tucker in my life. Yeah, Justin, Justin Tucker. Tucker, go ahead, bro. Handle that. Justin Tucker. <laughs> A seventy yard field goal over a half court shot. Are you serious? I mean you his gotta understand a half court shot. It's a full court shot. shot. It's a full it's a court, court, court shot. shot. Even a full court shot, you gotta think about it. That distance Damn. along with the Move small up. target that you have from full That's court practice every day. is different from the wide ass pylon. Them pylons are two cards wide. It's already Two you can break it more. And then, all right, so Justin Tucker's longest field goal mm-hmm. he made was 65 or 66. So that's four more extra yards. Exactly. And I think when he made that field goal, he oh. had room to spare. Is that so? Think about it like this it's just a full court shot from a 24 inch wide rim or a 70 yard field goal that is two car lengths wide. I ain't gonna lie. I know me personally. I'm probably gonna take Justin Tucker just because I know he Mr. Automatic. And you know, I, Justin I, Tucker. I, that's, that's easy. That's, that's easy. That's. I ain't, I'm, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. At it. I mean, I can see why people too. Steph. I mean, he pretty he pretty much consistent when it comes to shooting. I mean. Okay, okay. Bro got, bro got kid issues, but um, that's, that that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it for would you rather. All right, so we gonna get into it now. All right, and you take. Oh, this guy knew was coming. <laughs> get removed from all social media platforms. I'm be the last to go. I'm gonna be the last to go. Okay. And what? So basically, you haven't been on social media because you can't get away from it. Everybody talking about it. 
Uh, Angie Tate accounts been getting removed left and right from social media platforms. I think they removed his Instagram. I don't think did he have a Twitter? I don't know if he had a Twitter account. But he removed his Twitter. He did have a TikTok, but TikTok said they removed his Twitter. I mean, his TikTok. He didn't have a TikTok. Um, Ben, ben not have a TikTok. Oh, does he have a YouTube account? I don't think he had a YouTube account, and they removed his YouTube, quote unquote. No, they removed his YouTube. Okay. So, I think mean, in, in recent history, we have not seen a man treated as such. Whether what he's doing is wrong or not, right? It's right or wrong, whether we agree with him. His opinions are his opinions at the end of the day, right? Everybody's tied to their own opinions to certain situations. To remove a man. Off of all these platforms because simply because a large group don't agree with them, right? Like I'm talking about the take God. Yeah, take God. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Take the ambassador. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> I, I, I'm not even a big fan oh, of hell, Tate. Andrew Tate. I'm not even a, a big fan oh, of Tate. Hell. But I still think it's kind of like it's a little too much. You feel me? Like, wh- why are we treating this man? Cause there's people who don't worst shit in the world, and they still got social media accounts. It's because he got an influence like Trump. Yep. Thank you. I was. Oh man, what besetic? Bastard, you took my Joe. idea. Yeah. Joe. I would. I would. I would even. Y'all, y'all get y'all off, but uh, get y'all shit off. But I disagree with that statement too. And I, I'm for Andrew Tate. And I disagree with that statement. But go ahead. You don't think he got an influence like Trump? No, he does have influence, but I disagree. That's why. I mean, I would say, I would say, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Mike, finish it out. I'm, 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 I'm gonna save mine. Okay, so, um, I mean, my personal opinion, you know, it, it, it's just, I don't like since I don't agree with them. I'm not mad at it, but it's like, come on now, so because like this. Uh, this is a, a recurring theme where men are getting treated more severely than than the opposite sex, right? Let a woman talk like women talk about you know being independent women all the time. You don't see them getting canceled. You don't see them getting kicked off of platforms. But once the man starts, exactly, right? But she's like got all her social media platforms. Nobody trying to cancel her. But this man here is got removed from all platforms mm-hmm. for his ideals. I agree. I think it's uh, it's like Trump situation. It's, it's it's one similar narrative. It's the attack on somebody's freedom of speech. You cannot yeah. penalize for somebody saying something. Again, they have the freedom to speak. Now, there's a clause to that. That's where you know the tech companies and all the other bullshit. They do can. Mm-hmm. You know, private guidance is and all the stuff they need to do on their mm-hmm. platform. Now, again, it's idiotic because it is targeting men, which is stupid because, like I said, Cardi B has openly admitted to, you know what I'm saying, hey, I used to drug guys and rob them and some shit like that. But, same time, there, there is rappers who rap about crimes they committed that has a it's, So, mm-hmm. it's really a rare case of case to case situation. Because technically, there are people on both sides that are worse that should be censored or banned, but not. While those two, honestly, I think they were trying to change the norms. People hate change. Yeah. When you start to change shit, people freak the hell out. Andrew Trade, he was like Kevin Samuel, because I thought he was the first one to be banned personally. He used to say how many. Right now. But when you start to change the norms, people freak out. Mm-hmm. And I think Andrew Tate was on the verge of changing some of these norms. Same way with Trump hey, was changing some of the norms that was going on. So they had to censor him. He wasn't for feminism. Feminism. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Like feminism. He wasn't for feminism on the level that it is today. He's like, yeah, if a woman's going to be a woman, right let a woman be a woman. Uh, what do you say, Miller? Hold on. What did Miller say? I was just saying, like, that, like, like feminism is, like, a really sensitive topic uh, in today's society. Like, if something, if the wrong thing was said, 
It's not sensitive at all. Well, well that's some why people. it was canceled because they think he's misogynistic, but he's just a real. Some people. It's not. It's not simple at all, though. At the end of the day, you got to realize feminism is all about being equal, correct? Uh, not necessarily, yeah. though. No, this, no, this, no. Hold on, hold on. Pause. I, this is between me and him. I need everybody to just cut the shit. Be quiet for a second, right? I need everybody to understand where I'm coming from. Feminism is is most, is primarily when you cut it to the bone about being equal to the man, correct? Yes. Okay. So what I'm saying is, when it comes down to feminism, I. I'm going to make two different points to this. And just hear me out when I say this. Feminism is okay once it does not benefit feminism. So what I'm saying is, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Do you feel like it's fair for a woman as a receptionist that only has to like type papers, type papers and get coffee scenario? to make the same as a male that works in an oil field for a month at a time. Do you feel like, do you feel like they should make the same? No. In an oil field, is it typing papers? No, I think there are two different jobs. Okay, so, oh, therefore, what I'm saying is, also, let me say this. The left, which is the feminine, the liberals, all the other stuff, versus the right, right? Why is it? I'm taking a step farther. I'm taking a step farther like this. Keep cut the noise. Keep cut the noise. Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm walking outside. <laughs> all right, all right. So what I'm saying is, why is it that feminists want to fight for society to be equal? It's okay to be gay. I have no problem with gay people, by the way. If you want to be gay, you want to be transgender, you want to be he, she, he, her, her, he, whatever. He is her. Whatever you want to be. Cool. Whatever you want to do. Right? So why is it the same rights that they fought for to be able to express themselves and in their freedom of, their freedom of speech, when you have somebody that's in reality asking them, okay. questioning them, well, how are you a she when you clearly have a dick? You clearly have a dick. Right mm-hmm. now, we're considered we're considered being rude, unfair. Oh, um, we're we're considered being all these negative things. We're simply asking a question. When legally, when you know, when you go home, you get in the shower, you see a fucking dick, not a not a fucking penis. <laughs> I mean, I mean not, so a fucking, hard. not a fucking vagina. You see a dick. That shit that confuses me. He will be be like, "Oh, I'm her," but you're a dude. Well, at the end of the day, I'm still a her, and you gotta accept me for me being a her. Why? You're a dude. On your birth certificate, it says male. When you apply for a job, you put male. Like I don't understand. I don't understand that situation where. It's okay for them to do what they want to do, but then when you question them, you can't say shit. So they are literally fighting for the same reason that they try to get you to shut the fuck up for it. If that makes sense. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. Like, it's a sensitive topic to some people. I wasn't like necessarily disagreeing with you. I'm just saying, in the world, like in today's society right now, if you were to uh, disagree with what they're fighting for, then obviously there's going to be some rebellion. That's what I was trying to get out. It is society, though. But it's just like the rebellion comes from feelings versus facts. And uh-huh. if the world, if the world was based on more into fact, reality, it would be better than feeling. Because let me let me tell you, I recently got into it with one of the leftists, one of the people that's more based on oh, it's how you say it, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. If I say, oh, girl, you know, the sky is red, you, you tell me you're going to believe me? If I say, that, oh, girl, the sky is red, if I say, bitch, the sky is fucking blue. I mean, you may not like it, but it's fact. Oh, no. mm-hmm. It's that small reality that I'm talking about. Like, it's a simple, 
the simple fact that people banned Andrew Tate for speaking reality because they didn't like what he was saying. But in actuality, everything he was saying, I'm not going to do everything he was saying. But everything he was saying is true. Nothing that he said. He literally, he literally stated. He literally stated. We don't have nothing against females. He just knows how the roles go. Females do not want no soft dude. Females do not want no dude that they feel like they can't go out to a club and feel protected, uh, unprotected by. Females don't want no dude. They're not marrying no dude. They feel like it's not going to be the, the, the uh, primary leader of the house. That being said, I'm not saying that females can't pay no bills. I'm saying a simple fact that when it comes down to the final decision, that female's gonna look to her husband and be like, What's your decision? Yeah. I, I don't disagree. I, I don't disagree at all. I mean, so, but we also arguing the nature of women, right? Where they, they where, like, being back to the point about uh, the point of the, women, uh, story. like, you say the sky is, you know, she says the sky is red a certain way, and you say the sky is blue it's a certain night. way. You know, it's the night. thing where believe it or not, or how you say it, it's right? Night. Women it's base things off of feelings, whereas men, we naturally just base things off of logic. Right. And that's that's the issue you run into, right? Where, as men, right, you can say, all right, you can do this a certain way, right? But I'm going to take the feeling out of it. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Depend on the situation, right? Because I know who you are as a person, I'm like, all right, he, he might just have a bad day or whatever, right? I'm going to just get this shit done. We right. might talk about it later, right? Whereas a woman, right? Right. They can know you all oh. your life. And you say, hey, we need to get this shit done. And but just because you, you said this. it like that. Let me tell you this, Mike. I'm going to cut you off right here. Imagine, imagine we started holding females to the same accountability we get held to in football practice. I mean, I'll, imagine how the world will be a lot different, but in a better or a worse way, I'm going to ask you personally, in a better or worse way. Mm, in a sense, better, I, I, I guess, but I feel like I want everybody, I want everybody to answer. It's just simple yes or no. I want everybody on the panel to answer that question. If every, if a female got held to the same accountability, as you would on a football field in practice, would the world be better or worse? I want everybody answer. It would be better. I don't have an L. Anybody else? Uh, Sam, you got yourself muted, my boy. (laughs) In case you're trying to talk. But, uh, as far as my opinion, I feel like it will be better, right? In a sense. Uh, just accountability. If you if you just talk about accountability, yes. Cause, but I think overall, as as people alone, cause I don't think it's a male versus female thing. Cause, cause uh, no, it is. No, 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 no. Let me explain, right? Cause yes, men are held to a, a, a higher standard than majority of the time than women. But then again, men, at least nowadays, men who don't they don't like accountability. Like they, they avoid accountability. I literally go through situations with people where like they avoid accountability. Like everybody likes to point the finger. Now I can say with the group of people here, right? We all can accept accountability. We all can like, hey, if I fucked up, I fucked up, right? I can accept the fact that I fucked up, but I ain't gonna point the finger to somebody else. Like, oh, I fucked up because this is happening, right? I know everybody in this chat will automatically be like, hey, I fucked up. It's on me. <laughs> But nowadays, nowadays society, as a society in general, we don't accept accountability. And not just women, men included, do not want accountability. Everybody wants to point the finger at somebody. Why is like this? I don't know. But the difference is, the difference is, we call men out for it. We don't call women out for it as much. Because that's not politically correct. That's what I'm trying to tell you. We don't call females out for their shit because at the end of the day, when you call a female out for their shit, you have to have ten times more of backup or 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 evidence or whatever than it does than you do. Listen, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Mm-hmm. The quickest 
the quickest, and I've probably heard this from multiple dudes, the quickest way for uh, a dude to be turned off. Nine times ten, unless you're watching the, the Tyler Perry ass nigga movie, whatever ass nigga, mm-hmm. is what you can cook for me. Like, when they be like, oh, what you gonna cook for me? That's a quick ass turn off. I've, I've talked to about five different dudes that said the same thing. Took a poll on it. Hella dudes said the same thing. So, what I'm saying is, when you date a female, most females be like, oh, what you could do for me? Most females ain't be like, oh, what you can do for me? Oh, this I'm gonna do for you. You know, most females all only worry about what you can do for me. Oh, I got a nigga that can cook. The first thing that goes to their head is, oh, I ain't got to worry about cooking. He don't cook me every day. So when he get off his long-ass shift working 10, 12, 8 hours, then he got to worry about cooking for you. Then you got to worry about cleaning, all the other stuff. And the minute he let off a little bit, oh, you lazy as fuck. This is and that. Blah, blah, blah. So essentially, all females are there for is for pussy and that's it. In a sense. Because women, women that look for men now. That's all they're there for. Because they're not, they're not bringing no other value. I'm not saying all females are like that. I know. All females aren't like that. But what I'm saying is, the simple fact that that's, that's majority of what females are nowadays. Females want you to be able to do this. Think about it. You growing up, your dad teach you how to mow the grass, do this, this, and that. Your mom teach you how to cook, all the other stuff, this, and that. You live on your own. You know how to cook. You know how to provide for yourself, this, this, and that. You meet a girl, this, this, and that. You're still doing exactly what you do. That girl, you meet a girl... She's supposed to make life easier. She's not supposed to make... She's not supposed to be another chore. Yeah. And a lot of females don't see it that way. A lot of females see it as if, oh, well, he can do this, this, and that. Oh, you're not being a real man if you don't do this, this, that. No, nigga. The fuck? You're not being a real woman because you can't even provide for me. You're not doing the things you need to do for me. But the minute you say that for other females, they'd be like, oh, you're just being a small dick energy, this, this, and that, blah, blah. No, it's not the same case. You just not want to do your womanly parts. So, to, to hey, agree with you, and, no. saying, and, and when I say that, I'm not saying it's meant to be every fucking day. I'm not mm-hmm. saying that. I'm not saying you gotta get in that kitchen and cook every fucking single day. Obviously, like, if I'm off, or we both off, whatever this is and that, that's for the toss-up for y'all to. But what I'm saying is we both have our roles. I'm not gonna expect no female to get out there and cut the fucking grass, eat up the weeds, chop a tree down, all the other you, stuff. You muted, Sam. The, I hope you know it, that. You got yourself muted. <laughs> if you if you're trying to talk, you got yourself I'm muted. Am I muted? No, I'm not, muted. no. No, it's about Sam. Sam. Sam is muted. I don't know if you're trying to talk or not, but he muted himself. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm, I'm not oh, saying okay. everything got to be like that. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying it got to be like every day. This, 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 that, that, that. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is. You're there to make each other's lives easier. But majority in my generation, in our generation, I don't know how old you are, Sam, because, because I know you're going to make an argument for this. In my generation, that shit is very fucking hard to find. So, so let me, to elaborate on your thing more, right? So, the problem is women are not looking for men, they're looking for dads, looking for fathers. Basically, in the most they're looking for term. someone to literally be their fucking daddy. Exactly, they want someone to be their daddy, but they don't want to follow rules of daddy. Like they want to be pampered, they want to be, do all the other things, but that ain't what being in a relationship is being about. But also due to the fact that you know, coming out of some parent households, you know, it, it, it's thirsty. That's understandable, that. but. At the same time, bro, like biologically, like I know, I was I was raised by my mom. And even me, even me raised my mom, I'm not gonna expect no female to go out there and cut no fucking grass, or lift that heavy ass furniture, or do this, do that, do that, do this. Like I understand naturally, that's my role. Like and even then, that's why I firmly believe. Like but see, that's- I told my mom when I was in eighth grade, I told my mom in eighth grade, you cannot tell me how to be a man. You can tell me how to be a man in your image of what you think a man should be, but you can't tell me how to be a man. Just like, I can't raise a, I can't raise a daughter and tell that daughter how to be a woman. I can tell her how to be a, a woman in my image. Yes, yeah. absolutely. But I can't tell her how to be a fucking woman. So, right. Message. So, I, I agree with you, right? But that's, that's from case to case, case, right? Not every man who come from a single parent household 
is like you, right? We we'll understand that's that. absolutely true. So I think that that's the issue, right? And the problem is, right? As people, right? We don't pay attention to people like you, right? Where we point out the negatives, right. we, we just simply point out the negatives. Th- th- this is what this conversation stirs from, and until well, first the whole separation thing, we, we, that's the one thing we gotta fix, right? Single parent households gotta decrease. I feel like until that simple issue right there is start to decrease, right? We will always have this issue because I I disagree. I disagree because Mike, you know me. I came from a single parent household, right? You know, mom. You know, mom. Everybody that yes. except Sam uh, and um uh um I, uh, sorry, I forgot Mill, your name. Um, Mill. Sam and Mill is the only people that don't know my mom. Y'all, all, all y'all know my mom. So that's not an excuse. That's not an excuse at all. Because even if you're being raised by your mom, at the end of the day, once you get to a certain age, once you get to a certain part of your life, you understand, like, I get But it also comes with raising, right? If your parents aren't the best parent, because they ain't gonna lie, some of your parents just don't know how to parent. Exactly. Something some, something gets twisted, right? Something gets twisted. Throughout exactly. this role and that where we get where we get who we got nowadays. So what I'm saying is like I don't wanna hear the excuse of oh I'm from one parent household. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything at all because at the end of the day you can still make some of yourself. You still yeah. have once you, you just get fall to back to the point of accountability, right? Exactly, accountability. You still have enough mind and you've seen enough things in the world to understand what's right and what's wrong and what path you want to go down. Yes, your parents keep you out of trouble. Absolutely. They teach you basically the base of what's right and what's wrong. But the, at, at, at the end of the day, at, you choose what, what you're going to do with your life. Once you move out, once you move out, you have to understand, like, it's different. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, a lot of people try to live by this politic view when politically it don't work like that. You have to understand, like, Andrew Tate is simply saying there's roles. I'm not going to expect what, when I was trying to live with my ex, right? We, Mm -hmm. we already had understood that I was going to manage all the money, make sure all the bills was paid. She was going to make sure all the other stuff was good. It's understandable as roles. Now females want equality up until it, it doesn't benefit them. That's essentially what it comes down to. It comes yeah. down to equality till it doesn't benefit them. When does it benefit them? That's when they start having an argument. Of course. But um so back I think we kinda of stay away from what what, what what about the injury take situation, right? You know, at the end of the day, right? Because we. I was about to say something. But uh, when we get to the. Uh, we talk about the uh, Andrew Tate situation, right? We see multiple situations, there, right? So I don't know if y'all know a Twitch stream named Gideon, right? Where he's per- he permanently banned from Twitch. Permanently banned from Twitch, right? For, you know. Basically, you know, he did something wrong, right? Basically, kind of. What did he do? He basically like, well, his chat, right? So the thing on Twitch, right? You can't bash people to the point where your chat is being toxic towards somebody else's stream, right? So uh, Twitch finds out that your like your your community is being toxic to another community. They'll 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 put a you get a you get flagged for it. Do you oh, see how insensitive that is, though? So the problem oh, is, right? Sensitive. There's a girl I know y'all seen on t- on Twitter. There's a girl who got caught. Having intercourse online. <laughs> Hell, I'm gonna have to head out. Right? Yeah. And she only got banned. He could the dude talked to her. She only got banned for a week or two. And this is not his first offense. I mean, this, is, this is her first offense. The problem is on his first offense, he got permanently banned. It's like, okay, 
<laughs> it's my first offense, and I get permanently banned. But but when she gets, she does some more outlandish than I did, and it's okay. No, technically, nudity is not allowed on Twitch. You're not supposed to be half naked on Twitch. Yet you see women half naked on Twitch all the time. That where the commentary stirs from. But um, thank everybody. I think we might hit the mark right here. I think it's about time for me to close out. Um, so first of all, uh, Mela, Mela, thank you for uh coming in and joining us today on the pod. Appreciate it. This is a good, especially with all this that stuff gets intense, bro. <laughs> you know, I'm always for it. Feel me? If you ever want to hop back in, bro, just let I'm me know. You feel me? Bro, you just gotta let me know. You know, I'll be back on. Sir. And um, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Uh, Joe, any music dropping soon? Anything they want to release real quick before? Stay tuned next month. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. So you heard it. So look up uh Joe Paris on all social media platforms. Um, not social media. All music platforms. Joe Paris. Uh, stream his music and everything. And uh, anybody else want? to Promote their Twitch account, anything like that. Shout out to my manager, FNS Sharp. <laughs> Twitch him up on Twitch. <laughs> All right, y'all go ahead. It be in the description below as well uh, on the YouTube video. All right, make sure y- y'all. Hey man, hey, I know you're not in this. Hold on. I'm still on the phone. Don't worry, um, I got you. Hey man, go ahead. Blitzed. Go ahead. I know you got me, Joe. I know you got me. Go ahead and follow follow the boy. Feel me? Uh, F- FNS. Fuck Mike. I, I I wish I caught Spade Cowboy loving ass before he left. Fuck the Cowboys. Philly all day. Fuck the Saints. Philly Dang. all day. All right. Fuck the Patriots. You doing Philly too all much day. <laughs> Nigga doing wow. too much. Wow. Nigga, do- wow. Nigga came in just to be a hater. Nigga came in just to be a hater. <laughs> So, all right, make sure I follow FNS Sharp on Twitch. Bro, said Eagles suck. Damn, bro, Eagles suck too. Oh, yeah. Jeez, yeah, I just be hating on people. But um, so again, thank y'all for tuning in today's podcast. I appreciate everybody. All right, follow FNS Sharp on Twitch. Go stream Joe Perry music on Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, all that good stuff. Um. My name is Lynn Mikis, aka Dabo Mike. You all right? Thank you for tuning in today's episode. Oh, wait, there he go. There he go. He's back. There he goes. <laughs> Cowboy for- loving ass, nigga. yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you came before he ended it just on time. Just- go ahead, and follow the boy FNS Sharp again. I'm gonna say it again. Go ahead, and follow the boy, my artist Joe Paris, the rock star out here, man. Fuck the Cowboys. I'm going to say it again. Oh, you got another Patriot fan in the chat. I'm say it again. <laughs> and fuck the Saints. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> and fuck the Eagles. The niggas suck. Nigga ain't going to win the division. So who cares a fuck? So, uh. Hey, Joe, sure. bro. You trying to go to seven, bro? Seven. Make sure you guys. If hey, you haven't joined the Discord, join the Discord. Though. All right. Join the community. All right. If y'all want to <laughs> catch the stream, I want to catch the podcast first. Go to Patreon. All right. It's in the description. Go to Patreon and look up Lens Mikis. All right. The podcast pops up on there first. And everybody else, it comes out on all streaming platforms later. So make sure y'all be on the lookout Mikis for that. A bitch. And you go suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> if you like the video, you like the podcast, right? Make sure you join the army. Make sure you join Discord. All right. I appreciate everybody. Tune in, and we'll see y'all next time when we talk with the lens. Uh. Okay.